Yo, ah, ah, wah, wah. Tis your boy, Jadon, Legendary. And we are on Deja, the Enhancement Shaman, because people have been asking for shaman activity. And I have not done a shaman video in a hot minute, nor have I been on my shaman in a minute. That's technically not true. I was on retail, on my retail shaman, who was same dang character but we're talking about the Raz Lynch King version alright make sure you hit that subscribe button that like button that notification bell share with your people join the legendary clan so what's gonna become legendary I ain't gonna lie your boy has been back on war main okay as of recently and uh I just I just recorded a few hours ago I just recorded a video in AV I ain't gonna lie man I was going absolute ham in that battle alright I was going crazy because I know the way private servers play. And I remember, I'm like, you know what? I, I used to play on private servers all the time. And, and, and on private servers, nobody plays properly at all. So what do you do? You don't go for the win, you go for the kill. And that is exactly what I was doing. Although I was a little rusty, I still pulled off a pretty hefty score. Absolutely smashing people, okay? Good old War Main. That video will more than likely come out somewhere uh, after this video. Depends on how I end up editing them. More than likely, it'll come out after this video comes out. Um, yeah, absolute slaughter in that video. Absolute murder. Okay, let me give you a little hint. We're talking AV. Okay, all-out war, and I only managed to die four times. However, my score and how many people I killed is, what's the exact number? Mm, is three and a half times my deaths. So if you could put the math together, you know how many kills your boy landed. Could have been probably a little more, but you know, sometimes you get robbed. It's big BGs, what can you expect? Yeah, you know I mean, you can't expect to get every single kill. But well, other than that, you know what I mean? Had a miniature war with a warrior. You know what I mean? That was fun. It was overall a lot of dang fun. Okay. Now that I remember that private servers play the way private servers do. You feel me? I'm just going to be going for the kills. So I've explained this a few times in a couple of videos and in a live stream that I just recently did. Um, I've narrowed down my characters by quite a bit. I had a lot of characters, but at the time I was like, you know what? Oh my goodness, getting spammed. I was like, you know what? Not necessary. Let's just scale down to the characters where I'll be, I'm like, where are we going? Where I'll be able to pull off the most amount of kills uh, at ease. You know what I'm saying? Barely having to actually try very hard and all that. I just want the kills as fast as possible. We just gonna become a freaking killer. You know what I mean? Which is typically what I do in big BGs. I don't really do that often in small BGs. The small BGs, if you're not careful, you can get caught lacking. That's where big BGs, it happens less because it's, they're so vast. You and somebody could be fighting like way out here. Who would ever see it? Nobody. Y'all could be fighting back behind this building. Who would ever see it? Nobody. So when it comes to these big BGs, I tend to go on a kill hunt anyways, just because there's 40 people per team. You alone ain't gonna make the biggest difference. So there, it's always I always feel perfectly fine going out and just doing nothing but kill hunting. That's where when you're on a you know small. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you just gonna watch this many minutes of the video? And you ain't even gonna hit the subscribe button? That's crazy to me. Subscribe right now, man. Let's get back into the video. All BGs, you kind of have to play your part. This is only so many teammates. So. You can make quite the difference in a war song coach when you're not even helping your team do anything. You know what I'm saying? Dang! Oh my goodness. How disgusting. Oh yeah, we're playing a power build, so I'm wearing a full set of PvE gear with stacking power gems. How hard was that? Goodness gracious. That was a Wind Fury kill right there. Ay ay ay, look at that damage. So for those who do not know, a power build is when you take all the best PVE gear you can get your freaking hands on. Typically the PvP, the PVE gear that gives you the most gem slots. And just do nothing but power. Power in every single one of them. I call it the glass cannon build. 
it works best as the rogue because you get to hold so much control over people but it does work with other people especially characters who build boosts why is she so much bigger than her mount uh, uh, i said characters who build boost like we're talking about a dang car or something uh characters who can stack power very health uh healthy you know your warriors your shamans your pallies and whatnot where a power build is healthy oh you do have to be more careful because you can leave yourself out in the open for some pretty shoot for some pretty nasty damage if that person is geared enough of course you still are very geared you just ain't got no resilience not a single bit of fucking resilience to be found <clears throat> so that's what we running actually as a matter of fact we're we looking like 7,000 attack power oh no 7,000 people that allows you to do some absolutely absurd damage and that's the whole point you're not looking to be highly defensive you're looking to be as offensive as possible okay you know as they say sometimes the best defense is a, is a great offense that is exactly what you're doing when you run a power build you have zero defense realistically but you can absolutely crush people with some fucking absurd damage as you just saw there through a wind fury prop dual wielding of course look at that try to hit a fool with a lava lash from far away this is not retail retail is like 10 yards so you actually you actually get to do that on this it is not this is good old wrath lynch game face from y'all right quick ay 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 look at the damage look at the damage take that base bro before they, before they spawn in you know what I'm saying look man it's all about absolute order you feel me where are we at we're ahead we're ahead folks don't keep moving <clears throat> I'm probably gonna backtrack so I can get some more kills. <laughs> we have a healthy amount of people up this way. I'm, saying, I'm just gonna backtrack because I'm trying to get kills. You feel me? That's all I came here for. People want a shammy content for the kills, and I can pull that off. I'd be careful, of course, but you know, it shouldn't be too hard when you're doing damage like that. See what make? <laughs> oh my goodness! Almost ten thousand. The thing that makes it a little too busted over here. Oh my goodness, I'm getting murdered and I'm getting feared. Oh my goodness, how hard was he hitting me, man? Well, like I said. What the fuck? Yo, when I said I was going backtrack, I ain't mean this far back. Oh my goodness, I should have been more careful. I ain't mean this far back, dude. I mean backtrack like a little bit, you know, snack, snatch people up in the outer lines, not the frickin' inner. Ay, ay, ay. Well, at least we rolling with some peoples, I guess. Where he just went. We get any bases? True. I guess while we're here, we may as well try to snatch some crap up. Look, they beefing over here, dude. I mean, they're not that many people, but... Oh, shoot. As soon as I said it's not that many people, I realize that it is a fair amount of people. You know what I'm saying? We out here? ay yay yay With the fucking broken death knights. I keep forgetting about that over here on single player. It's like you be trying to go ham you get hit for 15 billion damage although I was kind of dying anyways now that I think about it stick me back here freaking Bridget whose pet's name is Bridget ain't never seen no crap like that Here to do what I can. 
since we're stuck back here now. May as well get as many kills as we possibly can. Ay ay ay. I guess it ain't too hard when you, when you uh, just doing fucking busted. Hold on, let me have a joint open so y'all can see what's going down as, as things fluctuate. And the thing that makes the shaman so busted with the power build, I forgot to mention actually, is you know you already know Winfrey gives you an extra a thousand attack power on whatever those hits were. So technically the shaman can get the highest amount of AP output at like probably like fucking eleven thousand, twelve thousand something where he lagging and he beating the crap out of me while lagging. Fucking oh dang, big boy heals. I gotta get past this group somehow. We'll never get out of here. I mean, we still ahead, so I guess we're doing our job, kind of, but not gonna be able to kill too well. Oh, shoot. Can't get up there. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to kill, uh, what's his name, though? You're just gonna keep spawning back behind the line. You are not dead. Ay, ay, ay. Get me out of here. I'm gonna be stuck back here now. Cause they still, oh wait, they got one right here and some people are spawning there. We could get, wait, why they ain't spawn me there? I was close as fuck, I was like right here. Man, I just got played, that's what that was. Cause then I could really backtrack and grab that tower. I know the score keeps resetting, but it actually is going down. It's just a little busted. It is going down. Uh, We are ahead. Should have spawned me up at that graveyard, not the one back here. I was closer up than the rest of these fools. I probably could get around. I was trying to, I was trying to get some kills on the on the outside, not the inside, because on the inside you're gonna die too. Especially as someone who can't stealth. I can't go stealth. I, I don't have these options. Obviously, if you knock me off this fucking mount. Casting on rip, freaking bird. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh boy. It's an old school tactic right here, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's here. That's a classic. I know about that one right there, man. That's how you survive. That's how you survive, boy. Are right, we out? As a matter of fact, let me, let me, uh, never mind. I was gonna start try to circle around to, going on over here. I want this tower. If I can. I'm taking this tower. What does that say? What? I just got. <laughs> I just freaking got here, man. Resist. Ouchie. No, this stun. My interrupt didn't work. What kind of crap was that? Oh, oh. You know what? Actually, that's a good idea. My interrupt did not work. It did nothing. Well, make up your mind, Bridget. What the fuck? I ain't never seen a paladin do that before. <laughs> Why do they get off and then start using what's the names? Alright, we good. Yeah, Windshear did nothing to stop that paladin from healing. Luckily, I had enough health. Alright, now that we back on the outside... We are up ahead any dang ways. Oh, so, oh. Not letting me hit this dude. And I got stunned. And I'm dead. It was just stun after stun, man. What the fuck? Oh, that's a nice fast respawn timer. This is exactly what I was talking about. Glass cannon, folks. 
You get all that lovely power, but you take a lot more damage than necessary. But it's, you know, I ain't gonna lie, it's worth it sometimes. Yeah, you already know. No! You filth! The damage is worth it. But, you do gotta recognize, as a non-stealth class, when you're running a power build, you are susceptible to a lot of extra damage that you normally would not take in the first place. As a rogue, oh man, you're good to go. Because, uh, can't nobody see you. You can't stop who you can't see, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna stop a fool you can't see? Yeah, how are you still looking at me? That boy Rondon? That boy Rondon. Ooh, what the beautiful trap. Frost. What the fuck was that? Filthy frickin' paladins, man. Get out of here. I might need to put my PvP macro on. I mean, uh, my trinket on. They stunning too much, man. Too much stunning going on around here. It's absurd power. It really is. But, like I said, you are a glass cannon. 100% last cannon up. People will smoke you. If you're if you're a little too overboard with it, you know what I'm saying. But it's worth it sometimes, especially if you're playing a rogue. If you're playing a rogue, then it's 100%. You gotta try it. Ambush spec, assassin, don't matter. The damage is there all the time. Combat, especially with a kill spree build. Ay ay ay. Oh, the fuck. We're talking about true levels of busted damage, folks. Oh my god. Alrighty then. The thing is, with this though, nobody got. <laughs> barely anybody has PvP gear. So we're all taking full damage. Or somebody was like, none of these people are wearing PvP gear. Oh yeah. That's why I wear PvE gear a lot as well, so it's not too busted. Because if I put on a full set of PvP gears, that's it. Ain't nobody gonna survive. Man, they taking every fucking thing. We still ahead, so I gotta reverse this a bit. I'll do what I can to backtrack the, the, the score here. <laughs> Power build, baby! I'm telling y'all, the shaman makes it so disgusting because of wind fury. You're literally procking upwards to like 9, 10, 11,000 AP. It's busted. It's like, oh, what the fuck? It's like the rogue. Oh no, speaking of rogues, I almost got tossed off the bridge. It's like the rogue with the ability to stun while being able to manage a consistent like 8 to 9,000 AP just off procs and being able to stun people. The Shaman gets absolutely busted Wind Fury procs pushing upwards to like 11, 12,000 AP and practically one shot in people. And if you go to the, the kill, spree, uh, kill Spree route for the Rogue, it's basically what we're doing now as the Shaman, but more consistent because you just literally just have to wait 1 minute 25 seconds if you got the Glyph, of course, which you better. You're playing a combat Rogue and you're not using the fucking Glyph to produce that cooldown, you messing up. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. As you'll see in that video that's coming soon. How freaking just quick haste I was making of people. No issues. No troubles. Just dropping people, man. At ease. Got two towers back in action. <clears throat> Can I take this base and turtle the crap out of these fools? They fighting something, so I might be able to. Uh oh, I'm getting jumped now. I'm like healing the crap out of this boy, man. He dead. I mean, if I could get him out of here, it is faster nonetheless. It won't let me heal for some reason. And I can't attack this guy. It says he's too far away, even though he's right the fuck in front of me. No healing, sir. 
he would not die for crap for like half that fight for some reason it kept saying he was out of range even though we were in front of each other that entire time come on man slowed him down a little bit i guess why is there so many people back there get forward i'm gonna take that dang base taking the towers back too I'm taking the dang towers back dog yeah, so if you if you really if you truly wanted to just try out the power build, I would say the best classes to do it with is a marksman hunter. I used to make guides on these. I kind of stopped. I don't know why. I I, just, I ain't thought about it in a hot minute. But the uh, uh, a marksman hunter because the, the the range damage is just vicious. Well, I'm talking like 11, 9, 10, 11, 12,000 crits and crap. Reaching up to upwards of 10,000 AP. You could do a Shaman because of Wind Fury. You could do the Rogue because no matter which spec you choose, the, the, the ability to hold people in place at, you know what I'm saying, whether they like it or not, is, is untouchable. You know what I'm saying, for obvious reasons, you're literally holding people in place whether they like it or not. Gotta get these Orcs out of here. Okay, she killed him a little faster than I thought she would. Oh, that's a big spawn. And now every single one of them are going to spawn right there. <laughs> it's over and done, baby. Turtled. Give Alliance a little bit more time to work. Feel me? How you do it that's how you turtle some crap as a non-stealthy i've only ever been able to turtle people as as a stealthy i remember i did that crap back in the day on what's the name on retro that 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 alterac that alterac valley lasted six hours somebody told me i stayed in there for about two before i got bored like, Alright, this is this video is good enough. <laughs> I bounced out. You know what I'm saying? I bounced out. I was like, ah, I'm cooling now. I'm cooling, bro. I don't need to be here any longer. Forever lasted six hours, all because a specific someone couldn't keep his that dog mouth shut. Okay, their tank. He was talking way too much trash. I had to do it to him. What the fuck? Hey, yo. Yo, there's just some people in here. Chilling and crap. I'm getting murdered. I ain't expect her to be just two death knights relaxing. Ow! Wasn't expecting there to just be death knights chilling out. It's all the wipery and they decided to stay around. Oh, they're taking my other bases. Still can't spawn here, though. So all I gotta do is knock people off here and there. Who's still up here? He's in There's one death knight down. Oh, the Death Knight is gone. Working shammy power, baby. And go ahead and take that. Okay, never mind. We make it to the other one. I'm in Ghost Wolf, but it because of the what's the name, it changed back, and now Ghost Wolf form is hidden. Amazing accidental glitches. I take this one back at least. I feel like that one burned down kind of fast. Unless I'm wrong. I bomb. 
Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Yeah. So where's this man? Wanna sneak up on me? Uh oh, that's not. Very limited on health here. A lot going on. My man's done froze up. I got this buster coming up out of nowhere. Let me heal myself real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, never mind. Oh, my goodness. You go every dang word. Happened to you, sir. Oh, boy. That's a lot of people. Uh, we got our base back again. <laughs> Alliance wins. I'm talking about, boy. You know what I'm saying? That's how you turtle, baby. Turtle for the win. 20 and 5. <laughs> It was a little bit of a struggle here and there. I will say one thing though, if you want to make the most efficiency out of the shaman, for whatever reason they do great in PvP gear. Probably because it's PvP gear. Though the damage is absolutely nice. I probably would have had less deaths and more kills in a full set of PvP gear if I'm being honest. My gym and that's the thing too. My freaking PvP gear ain't got nothing on it, I don't think. Okay, never mind. I got a little something, something. Missing some enchantments. It's in a lot of enchantments, actually. If you want to go with the power build, though, like I said, it is a bit of a glass cannon. Okay. True. Maybe I'll make a guide on one and if people want to see it. But anyways, let me go ahead and get up on off here. It has been your boy, Mishito, Mishun Daddy. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good. Either way, you watched it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share with your people, join the legendary clan, support the channel, become legendary. I'm out.